A man took to Reddit after facing racism while checking out his new house. This latest post on Reddit's Taifu subreddit proves once again that outward racism is alive and well in the United States. Op explains that he and his wife are black and just bought their first house, which is a momentous occasion and should be a joyous one as well. Op explained that he bought an under construction house in an upper middle class home in the Eastern Tennessee area. They bought an upper middle class home in the Eastern Tennessee area. The house is still under constructions, but they decided to drive over and walk to the house to check it out. While we were talking through op rights, I noticed the neighbor across the street kept peeking out his window at us. They noticed that their next door neighbor was peeking through the window at them. They waved and smiled at the neighbor, but the guy aggressively ignored them and shut his blinds. Then, as they were about to leave, the neighbor came running out and started yelling at them to stop. I asked him if there was a problem, op rights. He said, yes. I don't know why y'all in our neighborhood, but we don't take kindly to thieves and criminals. The police are on the way. The neighbor ended up calling the police for no reason at all. The outright racism is potent. But Op kept his cool in the face of wild prejudice and explained to the neighbor that they just bought the house and that they were looking around their own house, according to Op. The neighbor was convinced that they couldn't afford to live there. The neighbor responded that people like us couldn't afford houses here and that we could save our lies for the police. Holy hell, it doesn't get much more racist than that, folks. We often talk about all the subtle, insidious ways this country remains entrenched in racism. The policies designed to hurt black people, the structures in place that leave black populations out of the possibility of achieving success. The racism isn't subtle, but sometimes the racism isn't subtle. Sometimes it's so obvious and confident that it slaps you across the face. For some, it's hard to believe that people like this neighbor actually still exist. People who call black people thieves and criminals and don't believe that a black person could possibly afford a nice house. This neighbor didn't back down or apologize when he was told it was their house. But black people know these people still exist because they have to face them every day. This neighbor didn't back down or apologize when he was told it was their house. He accused them of lying. A while later, the police showed up and the couple were detained. The police showed up shortly after this exchange. And Op and his wife were immediately handcuffed and detained. Well, he was free to run around and explain that I didn't belong there. That's horrendous. The police wouldn't even let them explain themselves before handcuffing them for a wrongful complaint. The police wouldn't even let them explain themselves before handcuffing them for a wrongful complaint. Police violence against black people is real and pervasive. If the complaint had been about a suspicious white couple, do you think they would have immediately been handcuffed without the ability to explain themselves? No way. Once the builder showed up, the couple were released. The couple was only let go 10 minutes later when the builder showed up and explained the situation. Only then did the cops let up and his wife go about their day. This is a couple walking around the first house they own. They should be able to do so without being detained and not given the opportunity to explain themselves. So long story short, I have a racist neighbor. When they were finally let go and went to leave, Op's neighbor flicked him off and yelled, F you, as they drove away. So long story short, I have a racist neighbor. He writes, commenters urged Op to get a security system for his home, motion-activated floodlights, and even guns to protect himself. Others suggested filing a complaint with the police about the neighbor's false police report. The comments were full of suggestions on how to deal with the neighbor. Document every single interaction with that neighbor. Starting with the police report of that incident, one commenter suggested, while another added, I would also file a complaint against the police too, on what grounds did. They have to cuff you. Cause your skin is dark isn't a good reason although that is the norm. Others thought the neighbor should have been arrested for wasting police time. One commenter added, wish people like that could be charged with filing a false police report. And another suggested, the police should have turned around and arrested him for harassment and abusing emergency. 
Services. What do you think? This racist isn't going to magically stop being racist. In an edit to his original post, Up said that they got the neighbor's number and plan on calling and going over with cookies to try and smooth things over. It's absolutely absurd that they feel like they have to be the ones to appease this disgusting racist instead of expecting him to apologize and grovel at their feet for eternity. I feel for this couple. They clearly have a long road ahead of them with this neighbor.